Uranium was discovered in 1789 by a German chemist. It was named after the planet Uranus, which had been discovered eight years earlier. Uranium is a heavy metal which has been used as an abundant source of concentrated energy for over 60 years. It occurs in most rocks in concentrations of 2 to 4 parts per million and is as common in the Earth's crust as tin and tungsten. It occurs in seawater as well. However, like other metals, it is seldom sufficiently concentrated to be economically recoverable. Where it is economically recoverable, we call it an ore body. Ore bodies and thus mired resources are therefore relative to both costs of extraction and market prices. For example, at present, neither the oceans nor any granites are ore bodies, but conceivably either could become so if prices were to rise sufficiently. At 10 times the current price, seawater for example might become a potential source of vast amounts of uranium. Uranium reserves are therefore calculated as tons recoverable up to a certain cost. Mining companies usually consider concentrations greater than 750 ppm as ore or rock economical to mine at current uranium market prices. There is around 40 trillion tons of uranium in Earth's crust, but most of it is distributed at low parts per million in trace concentration. These are the 10 countries which are responsible for 94% of all uranium extraction. About 10% of the world's electricity is generated from uranium in nuclear reactors. The world's power reactors with combined capacity of about 400 gigawatts require some 66,500 tons of uranium from mines or elsewhere each year. While this capacity is being run more productively, the uranium fuel requirement is increasing, but not necessarily at the same rate. The factors increasing fuel demand are offset by a trend for higher burn-up of fuel and other efficiencies, so demand is steady. Over the years from 1980 to 2008, the electricity generated by nuclear power increased 3.6-fold, while uranium used increased by a factor of only 2.5. The world's present measured resources of uranium, 6.1 million tons in the cost category of less than three times present spot prices, and used only in conventional reactors are enough to last for about 90 years. This represents a higher level of assured resources than is normal for most minerals. Further exploration and higher prices will certainly yield further resources as present ones are used up. Today's reactor fuel requirements are met from primary supply which include direct mine output about 85% and secondary sources which include commercial stockpiles nuclear weapon stockpiles, and recycled uranium from reprocessing used fuel. These various secondary sources make uranium unique among energy minerals. Military warheads have been an important source of nuclear fuel since 1987. The USA and countries of the former USSR signed a series of disarmament treaties to reduce the nuclear arsenals of the signatory countries by approximately 80%. Today uranium is the only fuel supplied for nuclear reactors. However, thorium can also be utilized as a fuel for reactors which are specially designed for this purpose. Thorium is reported to be about three times as abundant in Earth's crust as uranium. The thorium fuel cycle has some attractive features, though it is not yet in commercial use. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.